What's up, YouTube? Okay, for tonight's battle, we've got a nice, lovely, even match up here. Um, before we do that, let's do a question of the day. So, I'm not sure if I've asked this one yet, but um, since we had a, a couple of uh, Mega Evolutions coming in in the last, I don't know, last few weeks or so, I was wondering what Mega Evolution would you pick out of all of them? If you had to pick one, um, like, I'm not extremely in love with them either, but what Mega Evolution do you prefer the most, or is your favourite? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Okay, this was a this was a very interesting battle, and I thought I'd put this one up. Um, I just had it about five or so minutes ago. I was yeah, this was this was quite fun and uh, very very fun. So uh, let's get this battle started. Okay, so we had our Azumarill lead there, um, which was sort of interesting. I wasn't really expecting Azumarill to be the lead. And I just went for wing attack to get some solid damage on it. Uh, I get like a crit, which is nice, so I can burn that Citrus Berry. So I'm guessing it's probably just a normal. Uh, belly drum set you never ever see. Um, so Play Rough is going to do loads to me, but I've got a stash anyway, so it doesn't sort of really matter. Um, so obviously Aqua Jet is obvious, so I just thought I'd swap out here, this would be my best bet, and uh, go into Seedling, get an Iron Barbs, and um, yeah, get sort of the... Uh, just gain the momentum. So I just thought, well, I'd say it's not going to swap. It's um, Sorry, it's obviously going to swap, and um, Leech... Seed will probably be my best option because I was having a feeling that Charizard would obviously come in uh, since that scares Ferris hit off the most sort of out of all of the Pokemon on his team. So that's good. I get the uh, seeds up. That's nice. I can recover back uh, the sort of little amount of health that I lost and uh, set them seeds up on Charizard. Now, uh, just looking at the team preview, I'm definitely guessing it's going to be Mega Kangaskhan. Obviously, it's banned, but hell, I was just mucking around and I was bored and I thought um, I'd just give it a shot anyway. I like. I'd like squeezing all the potential out of these uh, lower tier Pokemon as I can. It's really quite fun. Okay, um, so Heat Wave doesn't do anything because I really sort of resist that or any sort of fire move there. Uh, even if this thing has like Air Slash, I know I'm going to be able to resist it with my nice uh, special defense. But it turns out to be a mixed Charizard, which I wasn't really uh, expecting. So that does like shit loads of damage to me. Um, I get the Toxic off anyway, just in case it sort of didn't swap. Um, I, was, I was half expecting a swap there into like, something else, maybe back into the Zoomeril and like try and aqua jet me or something but that uh, wasn't too bad I guess uh, so I've got a leech seed and toxic up on the field uh, on Charizard at the moment which is not which is quite good because I I'd, I'd like to bury Charizard pretty quickly and um, then I can sort of run free of my ferris a little bit easier uh, I just go for a protect there so I thought well I might as well get another round of uh, leech seed back because at this rate I think I'm actually going to go down if I don't protect again um, like, just in case that was minimum damage, I wasn't actually too sure. Um, I didn't have the like, calc right up next to me. Um, but I feel that I'm not extremely bulky in defense, so I just played it really safe. And it was a good thing I did there, because uh, I definitely would have gone down. Uh, so I threw up the wish here, and that's going to be great, because I can sort of get all my health back now. Um, so pretty much it's going to be obvious that I'm going to use Protect here, but... I thought, well, just in case he thinks that I'm not going to use Protect and use another move, I'm going to go for Protect again. So I'm trying to think what they're going to do in advance. So worst case scenario, he swaps, I use Protect, I get my health back. It doesn't really matter. I'm still in a win-win situation. Okay, so uh, Greninja is going to come out. So just any sort of water move, Scold, Hydro Pump, probably Scold, um, more accurate there. So Seedling, once again, is a really good uh, swapping for a lot of these pokes here. Really good. This I love my um, Braxion Seedling combo. It's bloody awesome. And uh, yeah, especially um, just the synergy and it works really, really well. I like it. Okay, um, so Greninja's just going to go for Ice Beam. I suppose that's his best sort of attacking move against me. Um, I thought to go for Gyro Ball there, but I thought, no, let's get the seeds up first because I can get like a little bit of health back. Uh, if he decides to stay in again and use Ice Beam, I'm going to really like punish him with Gyro Ball. Because uh, obviously there's a big, massive difference in our speed, and he'll also sort of be turning himself into the ice type as well. So he does stand with that ice beam. I think, yep, that was a definitely a critical hit there. Uh, I just live, which was incredibly awesome, and I get my Gyro Ball off, and that absolutely destroys Green Ninja. So that was sweet getting rid of that thing too. It's a real like, pain in the ass. Okay, uh, out comes Tokus, so any sort of move is going to take me down. Uh, it's just going to be like an air slash set. Wasn't too sure, because Tokus can run like a lot of different sets, can run like. Scarf, bulky, annoying pain in the rectum set. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah, you know, you know the set. So it, uh, it does go for air slash and outspeeds me, so I'm thinking definitely that it's a scarf set, uh, purely for the fact that it outspeeds me, because 
Paypal has some really like nice speed. It gets well into three hundred. I get a free tax there, which is which is nice and um, very very good. <laughs> Uh, so they're going to swap out their toad kiss there, not probably wanting to sacrifice it just yet. So I just went for another ice beam because hell, they could have definitely left it in. Uh, Porygon 2 is going to copy my torrent. It's not really going to sort of matter too much in case they've got any like water move that they can sort of highly doubt. And they get another free tax in a row. It's like wow, <laughs> amazing. Uh, two in a row. I haven't done that for a very, very long time. I don't, actually, I don't think I've ever done that in a Wi-Fi battle before. Um, like consecutive free tax in a row. Okay, so I just took this time to sort of go for the nasty plot, but he thaws out straight away. I'm like, god damn, my luck was very short-lived there. Now, I went for a really risky play here. I go for the Focus Blast. Even at plus two, I thought Porygon 2 may have a little bit of a chance to live, and it does. Um, I wasn't too sure if I got min or max damage then, but disappointing, because I really wanted to actually take that out. But I'm still quite happy with that, because you know, Porygon 2 isn't the fastest poker. It's not going to be able to recover. Uh, it's going to have to outspeed and recover its health back, so... That's really good. That's putting it in a position where it's pretty much useless now. Um, like I can just revenge kill it with my Scyther if I really sort of uh, need to here. Okay, they're going to withdraw that. Maybe thinking, oh, I might get a chance later to use Recover, but that's hell not going to be the case. I'm not dealing with that thing later on. Uh, so they swap their Charizard in. I guess it's, it's poisoned. It, why one turn? It's pretty much useless. Uh, so they sort of sacrifice that, which is uh, sort of fair enough there. Okay, now, um, I'm expecting uh, the Azumarill to come out here and uh, hit me with Aquajet. Now, um, I thought, well, I really need that Scyther for later because it would be handy sort of getting rid of that Porygon 2 in case it sort of does come back in. Now, uh, Bufflant is going to sort of tank that really nicely. Really, really nicely. Now, uh, here I just went for uh, Head Charge because that's sort of my main stab move and it hits like a fucking truck, seriously. Uh, so Porygon 2 just is sort of going in there for fodder, I guess. Probably the best play because I don't... Who the hell wants to get hit by that fucking thing? <laughs> it's like, damn. Okay, so that's Porygon 2 down. Now, um, I, obviously I take like no damage from that because I need a little bit of help. Okay, so out comes the Mega Kanga Scan. Now this thing... Obviously this is a game changer, him bringing this out. I, this thing is really freaking annoying to verse. I shouldn't have been playing against it, but hell, that's my choice. I just wanted to see how I go. Anyway, so uh, obviously Mega Evolution there. Now, um, I chop, stop in uh, Try Mecha here because uh, I know obviously Mega Kanga, Kangas Khan. Oh my god, Kangas is pretty straightforward uh, there. He's going to be like a fake asset. Now I was predicting a Sucker Punch here, so I went for um, I went for the Healing Wish, and that was a really good prediction there. I can get the Healing Wish off there because I would have died anyway regardless if I went for an attacking move. So that was my best play there. Uh, so I get the Healing Wish off. Uh, here, which was nice and straight into Mantis, so I can bring him back to full health, revive his Focus Sash. Not that that matters too much, but I'm not prone to the Aqua Jet anymore, so I, th I thought that was a really good sort of play there and getting Scyther sort of back into the game. Now, I just went for U-Turn here. Uh, like, I, I didn't think I'd actually go down to like Sucker Punch at all because there's no sort of boost on the Mega Kangas gun as of yet. Uh, I thought Kinnikins would be sort of a nice swap in here, just sort of from fodder, I guess. There's not really much else he can do. Um, so uh, it's going to hit me with a power up punch and yeah it's going to have like so much attack now <laughs> I'm pretty much sort of uh, screwed I can't do much with my kinnikins here so it goes for sucker punch thinking I go for fire spin but I went for toxic instead I thought that would be more important than putting fire spin up and like attacking it consecutively because I'm going to die the next turn anyway so there's absolutely no point so I get the toxic there which is uh, really important um, but maybe like a little bit too late so I have to stall this thing out as much as I possibly could, so I just went for Protect there to get like another round of Toxic. Um, I knew that it'd probably get like another Power Up Punch or two against me, so another plus like two attacks, which is really sort of bad. Um, obviously I wasn't going to outspeed, so I just went for another Protect, had no sort of options there. I could have gone to Scyther again, but I was sort of fearing a return uh, there as well, so I had to be really careful here. Okay, so Kinnikins is down, but I got the Poison off and a couple of rounds of Toxic, so it wasn't actually that bad a result. Now, uh, since it's got a couple of boosts, I wanted to do a little bit of mind games here. Now, I'm actually running Defog on my Scyther, so I went for Defog thinking he'd go for Sucker Punch, so I could get a free round of Toxic. Okay, get this. So, um, I use it, and I was really disappointed, I thought, oh fuck, he's going to use Return, but he uses a Power Off Punch again, so he's boosting his attack, like, even more. So, getting, like, really quite greedy with that uh, Power Off Punch. Now, his only option here is now to use Sucker Punch. Uh, to sort of outspeed me. Obviously he's going to like 
die to my like any of my moves. So I just went for Defog again, predicting the Sucker Punch, and that was good. That was really good having Defog on Scyther because I just toxic stalled him out. Perfect. Um, that was awesome getting rid of that thing. That really leveled sort of the game back. Well, it did really, really level the game back. I should have brought him back in the game using that Pokemon. Not to sound rude, but anyway, uh, out comes Togekiss. Now it's Frozen Solid, uh, which is good. I'm just going to go straight for the Wing Attack here. That is my solid damage. And doesn't quite take it out. It thaws out and hits me with Air Slash, so bye bye Scyther. There's not much you can do. Your Sash is broken. I was hoping I could sort of, you know, have my Sash still there, but uh, wishful thinking, I guess. But it was really handy having it back. Now, uh, so straight into Afro Ball here. I knew that I could probably still win this because that Tokus would not be able to sort of take me out. Um, I get flinched here by uh, Air Slash, and um, it's just going to be a Scarf set to hit me like, really hard. It crits me there, and it flinches me again, so... Fuck! <laughs> uh, I, I definitely wouldn't be able to take it out there with like any of my moves. I had Wild Charge ready, and that would have been enough to take. I did the Calps actually after, and I would have been able to take uh, Azuma out and live the Aqua Jet as well, so... Fuck! You know, it just those things just happen. Um, but I was really amazed how my team... Uh, went and uh, it worked really nicely. I'm happy with these folks. Even though it was a loss, I didn't really take it as a loss. I sort of took it as a good uh, learning curve and uh, stuff to try and just better my uh, predictions and that sort of thing. And uh, it was good. It had, I had lots of fun anyway, trying to take some of those big threats down. They did fucking awesome. I was really happy. Um, anyway, question of the day, guys. What is your favourite Mega Evolution or what Mega Evolution do you prefer the most? Leave a comment in the comment section. And uh, as usual, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. Peace out.